the little, yeah, yeah. The little ice, clear. ICT jet. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to get to it without removing the top cover. Yeah, I think we're going to have to remove the top cover. Should we do that? Why not? Is there a specific angle this has got to be at? Uh, pass me, I don't know. It is a, mind you, they are supposed to be a tight fit, but... So you've got a... a um, it's oh. indicating what you see. Oh. You've got it tapered. Oh. It is tapered slightly. See at the beginning up yeah. to that line, it's yeah, tapered. Yeah, yeah. So that'll be, be your guiding, and then it's a case of uh, when you add it out, you should have given it a good clean. Yeah, you can see the. Uh, you see it there? Yeah. It's stuff come on, coming out of it. Powdered dust. That might help towards a, a, pr a good press fit. Yeah, it looks copper because it's got like corrosion on it and it looks like brass or copper. Well, show me where that came out of, mate. Right. We've just put compressed air on in the carburetor circuits. We've pulled out this tiny little, tiny little pin. Which locates? Where is it? That tiny little pin here. Um, if you come out. Hold on, because I can't see the little pin. Oh, where did, oh yeah, in that hole there. Right, that goes into that little hole there. You see? Yep. Which then, there's a ball that sits down into this chamber, yep. which is the pump chamber. Yeah. And the ball was seized at the bottom, not allowing fuel in. All right, carry on, what are you saying? Basically, you put... Positive red yep. to the D plus on the D terminal, which is this one, and, uh -huh. the and you put the a negative from the battery to the casing, uh -huh. and then this should it's spin like a motor. Mm -hmm. And what about the carb here? But carry on with what you're saying. So we had a ball valve. Right. There's a ball valve at the very bottom. Hang on, hang on. Is that how that is? Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's on the other side there, so. All right, there's that little pin there, mm -hmm. is where that goes, that sits mm -hmm. like that, or... Yeah. Yeah, because there's... Anyway, yeah. overall, we've unblocked the carburetor. There's a little ball bearing, yeah. which is this very tiny little ball bearing there. Yeah. Which was stuck at the bottom of the chamber. Mm -hmm. So what this does is, when the fuel pumps up, the ball lifts, allowing the fuel through. Mm -hmm. And when you stop pumping, the ball drops down and acts like a valve. Do it. Do it. This is how you pour a little bit of petrol into the carb chamber, fuel chamber. Just Is it fitting in better now or not? Well, it, it's made it enough of a seal that... Um, no. Something not right. No, you're not, no. No, no, should, it's not. done it by now, man. Yeah. I think we're about... 0.5 of the mil too big. So the internal hole is about f just under four, yeah? I can't no, see it. The internal hole is yeah. just under four, yeah? Right. And we're trying to put something that's just over four in the hole. No, the, the actual diameter of the jet, the pipe or whatever you want to call it, is about 4.5. Right. So we need so, to... Uh, so we've got quite a bit, yeah. half a... Yeah. So you, you've got two options, you can either get a drill and just gently yeah. hand twist it upside down so no bearing, no yeah. swore forms inside yeah. to make it just a little bit or of a... Or sandpaper, what you've got on your hand. Or you can stand there doing that, yeah. So, guys, what we've just noticed is that there's a... On the pump rod... Come on, pull the spring back. Or the lever. I'm trying to work it out, man. The pump rod has two holes in it. And we've only gone on the latest hole here, and I think if we if we pull that in and then put the pin through the e earlier hole, if that makes any sense, I think we'll get a potentially. Um, what will we get? Will we get a bigger stroke? This is the stroke, isn't it? Mm. 
This is the pump stroke. Do you know what you can do? Leave the original. Oh. Watch the book. Watch the book. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. It's only, only fuel. Leave that one in, yeah. pull the spring back, put another pin through, but don't bend it so it's going to hold the spring there. And then we haven't got to remove this in case we don't need it. Fucking hell, man. It's good job, you're clever. Yeah. Chaps, I've got these. Uh, it's an inline fuel uh, filter with replaceable um, elements. Uh, this is for a six mil system, which is as our IT <coughs> carburetor. Our, I, I picked carburetor. I'm going to put a link for one of these in case you guys like them. So it unscrews, you remove the filter, put one. You basically, this is about. No idea, I don't know how much it costs, but you get uh, replacement elements. I'll put a link in the description of the video. Glass and chrome, not plastic, it's proper glass. Yeah, it's proper glass, and that is, I think it's, well, it's cheap. It's cheap metal, but it works. I've had one on cake for about a year now, and it's all right. Anyway, put the fuel filter on, the fuel hose is on to the pump, to the correct port of the pump, and we've got the battery charged. Uh, we think we've improved the pump jet system in there. Ian's made a, a pretty nifty uh, squeezy bottle. That's Musty One inspired, isn't it? And uh, we're, we're filling the float bowl up now. It might already have some fuel in it. Yeah. Oh, it's just starting to drip a bit now. So I think That's we've good. filled the. Good. That will start her now. Yeah. This will start the engine. We've got it. You can hear it. Do it. Hear it. Yeah. Good. Good. Right. Should okay. we fire her up, mate? So we are we poured fuel down the carb? The down fuel the in the in the finger, and we pumped it. Right. Hold on. Would you like me to connect the earth? Yeah. All right. I'll wait until you've started the engine. It's warm and running. <laughs> All right. Right. Hold on. I think we're going to need some more fuel in that uh, in that carburetor. Do you want to chuck a bit more in it, or should we give it a go as it is? No, it's feeding. Okay. All right. Get ready. Yeah. Whoops. Right, oh, that full choke from. Hold on, yeah, yeah. full. Oh, she's got fuel coming up, so the pump's in the right no order. No way, man, is yeah. it already yeah. coming up? See there. Yeah. Run. What, you want to start the engine? Start the engine. Well, let's move this then. I thought you wanted to show oh. filming so you, you could see it filling up. Yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. Good job. One of us is sinking. Yeah, go on. One. Two, four. It's doing some chumps. I'm going to put the choke on. Chokes on. All right. Yeah. to advance or retard? I'm going to say how it runs okay. by listening. Yeah. Right, you need to pull start it again. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, man. I'd love to. That sounds freaking like a VW Beetle engine, doesn't it? You just yeah. need a little bit of tweaking in there. That pump's definitely working. We've definitely got a leak somewhere, though. You when right? you said the pump, mate, which pump, what leak? Fuel leak or oil leak? Well, we've got a fuel leak here. Yeah. And Did you put the gasket on, the carb? Yeah, there it is. N no, I mean the top cover gasket. Yep. Is that... Do you mean that one there? Yeah, 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 yeah. we did. Alright, full throttle, go!
be surprised what you see. I would, but somebody look, stole my glasses. Look. It's just dropping in, isn't it? There's a pound, there's a pound of fucking fuel there, mate. No wonder we're getting a leak and it's rich. Right, chaps, uh, we've had an awful um, excessive fuel pouring down into the carburetor. So you can see that the old, th this is the new one, and that's the original Solex one. There's a difference there. In the height. In the height. So hopefully that's why we've been getting um, over fuel. Light um, open. All right. Yeah. Ah, oh shit, look at that man. It's that's all the fuel yeah, that's yeah, coming yeah, into yeah, the yeah. car. Into the There's no way it's going to start now, is it? Jeez. It's not a good thing. That is the problem we've been having. We think that the needle valve was basically chucking fuel. Scientist. You'll fire up like that yeah. on a piece of string. Yeah. You're not far out. With the timing. Yeah. She's popping somewhere, but I'd say some of it could be valve problem. I don't know. Should we let her cool down and check the valve clearances? Yeah, you can do. Hopefully that popping sound will disappear. Ian and I just noticed the carburetor's frosted. Is now, it? what's the temperature here now today, man? Is it about 15, 18 degrees today? I don't know, I'm stupid. Well, it's definitely not cold and this carburettor, the engine's warm and the carburettor's frost, frosting here. Any ideas why that is happening or if that's normal on these VW engines? That's bizarre, Let us know in the comments. I just wanted to clarify things. Emmanuel, as you know, he's asking me loads of things and that. 
This is the first time I've seen the engine. I've never worked on one of these. And he's asking me. Why yeah, he you, rebuilt why are you looking, it. Why are you looking down here? The camera's here. I'm looking there. Oh, okay, sorry. My, I need to put my Your eyes are funny. Say that again, mate. What is Manuel saying? What? Your manual saying, is it this problem? Could it be this? I don't know. I never built the engine. He did. That's all I'm saying. Well, it's uh, it's freaking well built, man, I think. Yeah, you, mate. It, uh, it's a fine piece of... Mechanical engineering. Yeah, 30s design. Is it 30s design? Anyway. Right, so we've, we think we might have sorted the carburetor out. In fact, I've, I think we've sorted the carburetor out. Uh, timing is all right. So we need to. Uh, there's a, there's a heavy tapping sound coming out of those cylinders. I'm hoping it's not a big end or something serious. Uh, Ian and I are going to let the engine cool down. We're going to smoke a bucket of hash, and then we'll come back out again and ensure that, and measure the measure the. What does it say? D E there. What does it? Say? You put the positive. D positive. Oh, you put it on the, the positive on the D positive, yeah. Right. It says D positive on the dynamo uh -huh. and DF, uh -huh. which is some direct field or some of the Direct F field? Some of that. Right. Right, so what he said then was, is you put an earth to the body of the casing, which bit then should spin the dynamo to actually act like a motor. Okay. So that's what we're going to... I'm only copying what the man on the D... Yeah, on yeah, the, yeah. YouTube showed me. And what was the idea of the test? Is it to check if the generator's working? So I suppose so is this connection in that. Which it's not. No. Oh, it's because of the earth's gone. Oh. But we're still getting nothing. No, we're definitely connected. Could the battery be flat? No, no. She's definitely still got spark in her. So Ian thinks the brushes are not making contact with the uh, with the Doobie Firkin. Oh. It's like it. No? Nah, them brushes aren't contacting that.